Hi, I'm Hirsch, one of the co-founders of Studious, and today I'm going to show you how to start studying using the basic features of Studious. When you first log in, you won't have anything to study, so you need to go over to Decks and click Add Deck. You can name your deck here, so I'm going to call it Animal Sounds, and then you can start adding cards to study. When you click Add Card, you'll see the prompt and answer fields. The prompt is essentially the question, and the answer is the answer. So to start off, I'm going to put a question, what sound does a bee make? And we'll put the answer, buzz. Up here, you can see the study type and it defaults to type answer. What this means is it'll show you the prompt and you'll be expected to type out the answer in full. You can change this to reveal answer, which will show you the prompt and then just ask you to answer the question in your head and you can select whether it's right or not, or type answer or prompt. This will show you one card while you're studying, which is the question and you're expected to type the answer, and it'll also show you the opposite, the answer and you're expected to type the question. We'll keep it on type answer for now. Let's put in another one. Sound does a lion make roar. And let's put in one last one. And I'm going to change the study type of each of these to show you the different options. So we'll put one on type answer, one on reveal answer, and one on type answer or prompt. Once you've finished creating your cards, you can click study to begin studying. So Studious will begin showing you cards um, and it'll start with a random order, um, essentially in the order that you created them. But once you start studying them, it will decide what order to show them to you based on which ones you've gotten correct or not. And this is using the spaced repetition algorithm. If you want to learn more about it, we have an article um, and there are many things online. So let's start answering some questions. What sound does a bee make? Buzz. So as you can see, that's the type answer and it verified it's correct. What sound does a lion make? So I know the answer is roar um, and you can Click reveal card to see the answer. And you say whether you remembered or forgotten. I'll say I remembered. Okay, so a cat. I think it makes a meow sound. As you can see here, I've typed the answer incorrectly. And so it's shown me in red, I have put the answer incorrectly and this was the correct answer, meow. And we've got one last card, meow. And I remember that comes from a cat. So you can see that's the type answer or prompt system where both of them are valid as questions and the answers, and the prompt also needs to be given as an answer on one example. So while you're studying, you can click up here to see your progress. Four, four cards studied today, three correct, one incorrect, and 0% of cards are in long-term memory. As you start studying, you'll see the percentage of cards in long-term memory going up. Now, you can see I've gone through all of the cards once and one card has been brought back and that's the one that I got wrong. Now, if I type this correctly and hit submit, it says next reviewed later, congrats, you're done for now. Once you finish studying all of your cards, they'll be brought back to review at an appropriate time based on the spaced repetition algorithm. You should try to study at least once a day, and the cards that you should be studying that day will automatically be shown to you at the optimal time. Also, once you have more decks available, so here you can see I've created many decks, you can access them through the study menu. Here you can select decks to study, so you can select one like this, and you can add as many as you want to study at the same time. When you've selected multiple decks, the spaced repetition algorithm will choose between all of them which cards need to be studied first and show those to you in order. Now that you know how to use the basic features of Studious, you should be ready to start studying. We hope that you find it really helpful to learn more things quickly. If you want more information, check out our website, studious.ai. And if you ever want to get in contact with us to ask a question or request a new feature, feel free to email us at info at studious.ai.